I started this gangster shit. Mr. Mother, thanks I get. Hello. I started this gangster shit. And Mr. Mother, thanks I get. Hello. My friends, this is now day four. It's day four of this point of the lunatic, crazy reaction that the mainstream SJW comic book industry and the same players that we've always seen. It's never anybody new. It's always the same guys, same cackling uh, bunch of hens uh, that they're having. They're reacting to just some commentary from one humble comic book retailer. This is a guy that owns a store called the Comic Book Palace. Uh, up in Massachusetts, a little bit north of me. And he had the baldacity, that's a combination of balls and audacity, uh, to say that the books that are coming out right now aren't so good. And he gave very specific reasons as to why. Uh, the reaction to it from the usual suspects, the same 12 weirdos and uh, their friends who uh, kind of end up in the replies, has been acidic, crazy, lunatic, barking at the moon uh, and they're all making all kinds of excuses and crazy stuff like that it's so fun we got a new one to look at right now but before we get to that my name's ethan van skyver this is comic artist pro secrets i'm a 30-year veteran of the comic book industry and if you'd be so kind to join me click uh, like on this video subscribe to this video and of course when this video is over leave me comments uh in the uh, comment section below i read them all and sometimes i even respond to them now let's take a look and see uh, this clown here has me blocked, and I don't know why. With all due respect, uh, Cy Spurrier, I don't know your work. I'm not sure. I, I did a little research. I found out that you're from the UK, uh, so uh, <clears throat> that's interesting. Um, Here's an easy fix, guys. Take all the comics you hate, all this newfangled woke shit, right off your shelves. Fill them with the creators who are still doing what you think comics should be. EVS at all. Sit back as the crowd swarm and draft up your told you so. We'll wait. How was that for British accent? Was that like a... <laughs> That's what I think the guy sounds like. Hold on. I don't know. I'm not sure. Let me take a look at him. He looks cool. He looks like a cool guy. What's his problem here? Uh, it's ridiculous. All right. Let me go back here and take a look. All right. See, the thing about this, Simon, is that you're addressing the wrong issue. Uh, this isn't even about woke anymore. This is very, very specific. This is a unique uh, uh, sort of subsection. It's a branch. It's a tiny little twig off of the woke the rotten uh, oak, uh, like woke oak. <laughs> Stupid, I'm sorry. Simon, not all of us can be writers. Uh, but uh, this is uh, this is just a branch of that, really. It's uh, the situation is uh, you guys started hiring a whole lot of women uh, and uh, didn't really check to see if they were able to write uh, comic books for men. Uh, and there is a difference, Simon. I know this is difficult to understand, but what Glenn was saying, very specifically, he was saying, hey, uh, could you ladies and guys with ladies' brains stop superimposing your personal foibles, defects, and weirdness, uh, your feminine virtues and charm, ladies, uh, onto characters like Tony Stark? You're not that interesting. You're, there's no possible way that anything in your lives could ever be as interesting uh, as the X-Men or Iron Man or any of this other stuff, which is why lately when I'm buying comic books that you people are making, uh, I'm noticing that there's all this reference to your dull as dishwater lives. I'm sick of it. I don't want it. I can't sell it. You're ruining comics that have been around for 60 years. They've done great. Like Tony Stark, Iron Man has done great for 60 years. You know, before people like you and Vita Ayala and all your weird, uh, you know, friends who are super unqualified to do this work uh, came out of nowhere and started ruining them. And see, this is the whole thing. I would say to Simon, you know, listen, I don't know about like I, I assume I don't I don't know for sure, but I assume you have a man's brain. We have a lot of people who are working in comics who either are actually women and don't know how to, you know, uh, write for men or we have men who, because they're surrounded uh, by these crazy, cat-piss-stinking, witch, witchcraft-indulging uh, feminists, uh, are becoming like women, Simon. So, and and they're, they're starting to go, well, maybe um, I should just write some of my personal issues. Right now. I'm going through a lot, Simon, and, and Glenn uh, up there in Comic Book Palace. I'm going through a lot of stress right now, and I really need to just, I need an outlet. Get it out, and I'm an artist, so maybe you, maybe, I don't know, Robin, Tim Drake Robin could be my voice? 
Uh, and the answer to that is no, you're fired every single time. We got uh, this over here. Uh, we got some people who are misunderstanding this. And I appreciate, uh, you know, uh, the ideas here. I, I have to straighten people out. I've got to do it. It's my job here on the Internet. Uh, this guy, Mark Taylor, who he says I misunderstood him. Maybe I did. Maybe maybe he's on my side. I can't really tell. But he says, male power fantasies are human fantasies. That's right. Trans rights are human rights. Uh, normal human females have the same fantasies. You think Lois Lane doesn't love being in Superman's arm? All right. Now, this is ridiculous. Uh, and I have to uh, point out the reality. No, they do not. The vast majority of women do not have the same kind of power fantasies that men have. And you know this is true. You you know this is true in your reptile brain. Uh, even those of you who have completely been subsumed by the woke virus, you understand that what I'm saying here is 100% true. Uh, there's a weird agenda right now to try to change that fact, to try to make it seem like men and women are the same. No, they're not. They're wired completely differently. Uh, women, for example, Women don't think about subverting a terrorist attack on an, an airplane flight with their fists. And you know what? Every single man does. Well, most men, okay? Let's say 95%. What percentage of men are gay? Uh, <clears throat> whatever it is. Uh, subtract that from 100. 95% of men, okay? Uh, they think about, they think like, man, if I had been on that flight, one of those 9-11 flights, I would have... It's a power fantasy that men have. All men share it. It's true. And uh, it's the reason why these comics suck. This is what Glenn is encountering here. And you got uh, this as well. Um, <clears throat> let me see here. Uh, da -da -da. Um, we're talking about female directors. Uh, then is it a male fantasy to see a female fight aliens? So thinking about the Aliens movie, Sigourney Weaver is Ripley fighting the aliens. You know, men who think they're trying to write for women, and there are some men who've been trying to do this for a long time. Uh, they come up with something like barbed wire or something like that. They think that women want to see kick-ass women beating ass. And <laughs> say ass one more time. Uh, that is not the case. You're still writing for men when you do that. Women don't want to see that. Women, let me let me just explain uh, here. Uh, what is this? What did I do? Did I do something silly? Uh, all right, hold on a second. <laughs> I lost my whole train of thought, but it doesn't matter. Here's the reality of things. Aliens, the movie Aliens, is still for men. Sigourney Weaver as Ripley is still a character that was, it's for men's fantasy. Why is that? Because men don't share uh, the same defect that women. I'm sorry, uh, that women uh, all share, which is that they need everything to be about them. We don't need that. The idea of inclusion is a feminine idea. The idea um, that in order to enjoy a piece of media, a story, we have to be able to see ourselves in there. Now, it's nice to be able to recognize something that we can relate to uh, in some of this. That's nice. Uh, those people who are Canadian, guys who are Canadian are like, yeah, Wolverine is our hero, but they're nothing like Wolverine. Probably, and I hope you're not anything like Wolverine. You're probably not. Um, when it comes to Ripley, we are able to enjoy the, the show. Uh, even, you know, it's it's a uh, aliens, monstrous, murderous aliens, and we're trapped on a spaceship, and we got some guns, and uh, oxygen's running out, and we got to kill these aliens. It doesn't matter if the main character is a, a woman or a man, is like us, is black, white in any single way. It doesn't matter. We're, we're on the side of the hero that's on the screen, right? The hero doesn't have to be us. Whereas with women, women want to see literally themselves uh, on there. And by the way, they'd be like, I'd never be on a spaceship fighting aliens. That's not a scenario that I want to see myself in at all. Uh, with women's fantasy, everything around them has to validate them. They have to be the point of reference. Everything has to be pointing to them and how special they are at all times. They want to be able to project themselves into the character that's on the screen. The character on the screen needs to have very little personality, needs to just sort of be a cipher that they can use as a vehicle for them to enjoy the fantasy and make it about themselves. Men are not like that. This same attitude is working its way into comic books. Glenn at Comic Book Palace didn't have quite the understanding, I don't think, maybe he does, I've never spoken to him about this, I'd like to, um, to understand why the comics he's complaining about are the way that they are, but that is what it is. Guys, It's it, it just all comes down to a very simple idea that we learned when we were 
little tiny kids. Boys and girls are different. That's all it is. Isn't that unbelievable? That solves everything. Once you understand that, uh, you, you've conquered this whole thing. And Cy, uh, you know, uh, listen, uh, we will replace your comics at some point. We have to because stuff has to sell. These retailers have to make money. I'm not personally interested in putting Cyberfrog through the direct market yet. I'm doing just fine uh, with crowdfunding. Uh, but at some point, we are going to have to do that. And have you checked out Cyberfrog yet? The links are all in the description below. Um, check this out. Thank you.